my parents were both artists. My father was a, a sculptor and my mother was a painter in Detroit, Michigan. And they both taught at the large art school that was there. So that's where I went um, after high school, I went. And, but I didn't want to take either painting or sculpture because I was definitely not gonna be in their classes. I just thought that would be horrible. So I took <laughs> ceramics and fabric design and, and uh, jewelry making. And all the time I did that, really since I've been about six years old, what I wanted to do was make figures, dolls, figures that move, all different mixed media things. So I've been doing that all my life. And I applied everything that I learned in all three of those uh, courses to what I was making. And I remember when I graduated, my fabric design teacher came up to me and she said, you know, you're never going to get a job doing this. What are you doing? She said, you can't, you're not a production potter. She said, you don't do silk screening. You don't, you know, good luck because you're not going to make it out there. And I thought, oh, I don't care. This is what I really, really want to do. So I moved to New York and I was still making, making you know, figures and marionettes, little puppets. And um, the, uh, the art director from Muppets came to an exhibition that I had. It was just in the loft that I was living in. And he came and bought a piece, a little marionette that I'd made for Jim Henson for a Christmas present. And just after New Year, I got a phone call from um, Michael Frith, the director, saying, Jim is in town and he would like to meet you. He's working, he's developing a new project. And he would you know, like to have you come and interview for this. I thought, oh, it's the most amazing thing because I was going to go be a waitress like everybody else in New York when they get there. <laughs> but um, I, I thought, and he said, it's tomorrow. You've got to come tomorrow and do this. And I said, oh, I can't, I can't come tomorrow because I've got to pick my mother up from the airport. And he just stopped for a minute and then he said, you know what, get somebody else to pick your mother up from the airport. You've got to do this. <laughs> and it's the best advice I think I've ever had. Uh, it's like, don't ever pick your mother up from the airport if you've got something that's this important to do. And really, do you just have to take the chance when it comes, when you're given that kind of chance to do something, take it. Don't do anything else. Just take it. Even if you don't feel like you're ready for it, even if you feel like, you know, maybe it's not the right job for you. It doesn't matter. Just go and try. So that's what I did. I went and, uh, and Jim did hire me to work on this new project. And the first day I came in, there was Brian. And I was, I was hired to make, uh, make puppets. We didn't really know what we were going to be doing yet. We knew that they would be, I'd seen, Jim had showed me your book, so I knew what the style would be. But um, we didn't know how we would do it. So we had a lot of time to experiment. I'd never made hand puppets like this before. So that was something that I learned as I went along from all of the Muppet puppet builders. And then when you came, we all experimented together, really, trying to figure out what we would do. Mm -hmm. 